Oh, I just realized something. I can consult the video. Look at this. <laughs> this is my camera. Hi, Minion. And uh, the thing is, it takes video all the time, so I think I can just go on there and get the video of it, because I think that camera looks directly over here by the furniture. So Earthquake was never on my bucket list. I had a bucket list. There were things on there like, uh, I'll, I want to go to see California. I want to set my toe in the ocean. Uh, I also wanted to see Mexico, and I wanted to see Vegas. I guess I kind of did all those things. Like the footage shows, my security cam footage, my cheap security cam footage last night wasn't very fun. Not at being in an earthquake, not on the bucket list. So let's talk about Nevada earthquakes and how this place apparently might just fall into the ocean too. Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day, won't you be my neighbor? Hey guys can't turn right here don't you dare try what a nice morning and look all the buildings are intact after last night So I guess it's useful to introduce myself. If you don't know, I'm Steven. I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a, I'm a Canadian who moved here over a decade ago, 15 years actually, and I do video blogs on this awesome city, Las Vegas, Nevada. If you like the channel, do me a favor. A couple of actions I need you to take. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscription button then. Click the bell and do all notifications, not just personal ones, because YouTube is not there yet, trust me. And then also leave us a comment, like the video, watch as much as you can because that helps us grow. Watch time is very important. So there was an earthquake last night. I'm sure you heard of it. You had to have heard of it. It was fairly major and uh, yeah. Oh, here's a question for you. What kind of city do you live in where you can just walk out on the street corner and there's like a Ferrari? Let's just put a Ferrari here. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So yeah, earthquake in Vegas. Last night my uh, wife and I were outside. She was watering some plants and I was feeding some stray cats. Not the band the stray cats. I'm pretty sure they can still eat, although they're not as popular as they once were. That's a bad joke. Uh, she says, hubby earthquake, earthquake. And I felt drunk for a minute, but I wasn't drinking. And I look back and wouldn't you know it, the pots that we have, the potted plants are moving and those aren't supposed to move. And then all of the street lights are swaying for about two minutes straight. But the earthquake itself lasted like 45 seconds or so. It turns out there was a Ridgecrest earthquake of 7.1 magnitude. And Ridgecrest is only about 150 miles away from Vegas. And so this was definitely felt here. And it was all anybody talked about. And I heard rumors that in Vegas it was the equivalent of a five. And it is a follow up to the Ridgecrest earthquake that happened just the day before July 4th, which I didn't feel. Somebody commented on, I think it was Stephen Smith. He commented on one of my videos that he felt an earthquake. And I looked it up and wouldn't you know it, yep, July 4th earthquake, July 5th earthquake. I know you've all heard of Engelbert Humperdinck. I'm sure you might have giggled out of there in his name when you were younger. Juan Francisco Abel. I don't want to say that wrong. Oh, the international superstar known as Yuya. Pedro Babadeva, uh, Dick Feeney, the flying Elvi creator. Oh, that's from Leaving Las Vegas. That's the name of my channel, not Leaving Las Vegas. Yeah, we got the Walk of Fame. Since you haven't heard of most of these, I'm gonna skip them. Oh, Bobby Darren. Oh, Elvis Presley.
So in a little bit we'll show the security footage. I forgot for a minute temporarily that I have a security camera set up. It takes footage and uh, takes it continuously for like two days or so. And so I have the exact timestamp. I have it. And in the footage you can see the swing. So Vegas is actually a pretty rockin' and rollin' place, not just for all the music and all of the entertainment. I remember when there was a I remember when there was a fountain here at the Paris. And then I remember when there was a giant fountain there. Now it's a beer park. Because if it's flat and we can build on it, let's build something to make money instead of build something beautiful. Although these flowers are still beautiful, I really liked it when there was a fountain here shooting, it was shooting water. Choo, choo, choo. In an arc. It was pretty cool. Of course, as you'd expect, the news ate it all up. Uh, they had uh, KTNV. We watched local news just to see what's going on in the city. And we had KTNV Action News spending, I think, an hour on going all over the Strip, trying to ask people where were you when it happened. They went up to the Stratosphere Tower. Somehow the news managed to find absolutely nobody who was actually up in the tower on the very top. They just had one of their cameramen. I guess the people didn't want to appear on camera. And people were saying it was swaying and rocking back and forth. And it was like, oh, I called my friends. I didn't know what was going to happen. But like... All jokes aside about that, it, it's not really that funny. It was scary. I, I never want to be in an earthquake. It's an element you can't control. It's like you can't control an earthquake. And it's not like in the movies, right? Because you know like in the movies, they have like the sound editing process and then you can hear boom. That's why I don't make sound effects for movies. It'd be pretty bad. And, uh, <laughs> but that's not what it's like. It was silent. You could hear a little rattling of those uh, planters. And that was it. it, it and it felt like I was drunk for a minute. So a few questions I had during my live stream that I did last night was, what would happen to Nevada, Las Vegas specifically, if California had the big one? Well, obviously it would be a, a tremendous national disaster. I don't mean tremendous and an enduring. I mean like epic gargantuan scale disaster. And because 25% of all the visitors to Vegas are actually from California, it would diminish tourism greatly out here and the economy would be extremely harshly impacted. I would imagine too, if the big one ever happened in California, you're talking significant damage in, in all of Nevada, especially anything closer to the state line. So a lot of the old mining towns, you would see collapsed mines because we have a lot of mining in Nevada. It's a silver state because we produced more silver for the world than any other place in the planet back in the 1800s and early 1900s. So you would see considerable damage everywhere in the state, especially if the big one hit, and that's like a 9.0 magnitude or something like that. Another question was, what would happen to the Hoover Dam? Well, that's a good, well, what did happen? You said, dude, I think the Hoover Dam was okay. Well, that's a good question too, because I, I remember going to the Hoover Dam for the first time, and I remember uh, feeling blasting. They are actually blasting out parts of the Hoover Dam when I first went there to, uh, well, maybe it wasn't the first visit, but it was for that uh, bridge. So you can dynamite right next to the Hoover Dam with controlled explosions. I'm sure the Hoover Dam's okay right now. Let's point out, it's always a surreal experience to walk around in a shopping mall. Morning time at eight in the morning. He decided that he didn't want to pay the high hotel rates probably for the better. And as I mentioned in a previous video, we don't live in a bad part of town by any means, but what we did hear was a lot of emergency sirens, a lot of vehicles going down the main streets. You know, when you call 911, you call a first responder in this country, they have to show up. And I imagine they had a bit of a hectic night last night. So here's my security footage, and uh, as you can see, the the gate was open and we have our stray cats out on the balcony, the lanai. And the biggest thing that you see is that the gates start to shake and sway. And if you look in the top right corner or top left corner of that video, you'll see our little trinkets start to sway. And they sway for some time. And it was just an unnerving experience to have that happen to you, to say the least. Now everybody here is safe and for the record, Nobody's ever in the state of Nevada been injured in an earthquake. Even though there were six major earthquakes of different magnitudes uh, in the last 150 years or so, I'll link that in the description below to the Review Journal website that had those stats. Nothing major has ever happened, but this could be 
they say there's a five to six percent chance of a bigger one happening. And there's been over a hundred aftershocks, most of them very small. So let's say a prayer for everybody over in uh, Ridgecrest area. If you guys felt the earthquake, sound off in the comments below. Tell me about it. Most of you guys already did that in my previous live stream video, whether you were live or whether or not you guys sounded off in the comments afterwards. And I wanna thank everybody who's been supporting the channel. I try my best to do a good job for you guys. I'm trying my best to upgrade my equipment. Um, <laughs> I've seen YouTubers do pledge drives for like a new equipment. What I need is a GoPro Hero 7 Black. So I can come out here and those have a temperature threshold of 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll be good to go. Like when I step into the sun right now, it's warm and it's only eight in the morning. So if you guys want to support the channel, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications, leave us a comment, and you can do it in any which order you want. Once again, folks, my name's Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I am a full-time Vegas video blogger, bringing you news views, things you can use. Raiders Stadium time this week because they just put part of the roof on for the first time. Oh, I'm so excited to come over there. And make sure you come over to my live stream on Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 1 p.m. Pacific, wait, no, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We gotta say sayonara as I go start my day. You are the best part of my channel and the best part of my morning. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking. Leave me a comment. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.